Okay, so I'm just going to click OK. So right now, I'm going to run again, like I said, the application, the, sorry, the document. So uh, whenever you open a document, try to make sure you pay attention to um, the process, um, the activity that happens as it's opening. You can see, you can see what happens there, user control, You can see uh, it's trying to open up document. You can see that it has spun up uh, CMD. We can also see that it has spun up CMD and it spun up CMD twice and it opens up the window is in build calculator. Right. So this is the expectation based on our document. Right. So this is uh, this is depicting what we happen, just like I, I showed you guys. This is a capture of what was um, gotten from the um, real, the um, MS HTML um, vulnerability this is a capture of the file. So when a user click on the enable edit, editing, what we happen is just what we've just seen now. It's going to spawn up um, um, legitimate window processes, and it's also going to run some libraries, malicious code, you know, on the, within the, uh, at the background, you know, to establish connection back to the CNC server or infect the, um, the target system with more malware. As you can see, so this is, um, this is, this is uh, a very weird process um, behavior. Is, is it is it is not expected it is not a legitimate behavior so when we have what documents open opening up application it is something that we have to you know check and make sure that we uh, investigate um, what kind of applications are dropped you know at the background um, we have to check uh, um, that's why I open up the process monitor so that we can see what has happened within the background uh, Okay, so guys, you can see that we have, you can see that we only filter for winworld.esc. So we are just going to take a look at what, what is happening on the background. What we notice is that when we open the Word document, um, it's spun up CMD and um, um, cmd.esc, which also spun up the um, CA dot, the, the window calculator application, right? So let's take a look at some of the information that we can gather from the process monitor. All right, so the first thing we can notice is that we are going to take a look at, and, and also let's, let us check our CNC server to be sure that we have a connection. So you can see guys, this is what happened when we opened the document. The first thing was that there was a connect, you can see there's a connectivity from the victim machine back to the CNC server. And uh, the first request that we have here is that uh, once a connection was made, the connection was made, we notice that word.html and HTML file, you can see just like I explained from uh, within the attack keychain, that once the user um, click and enable the editing button, the exploit will load the HTML file by using HTML protocol to open the URL, guys. So that is what we saw um, from this part. You can see the dot uh, the word dot HTML file, right? So the, so once the user open up the document, what is expected at the um, uh, the uh, malicious active X control? We um, we try to um, request you uh, via the URL to, to get the word.html document uh, file from the CNC server. And as you can see, the next thing is that you see there's a get request for the dot, uh, word.html um, file. So once this is received by the uh, victim machine, the next thing is that it's also going to request. Um, see okay you can also see we also have a dot cab this is a dot cabinet file 
basically used to archive um, a file 